Hi, welcome back to the Custom Saber Shop on YouTube. And today I'm going to teach you how to wire up one of these little guys. Look how small that is. That is the Polulu uh, Momentary to Latching Converter, or one of them. And I'm going to show you how to wire that up. As you can see, it's really small. Now, first things first, before you go any further in this video, you got to recognize there are two of these in the store. And you are going to need to know which one is right for your saber. Um, there is a 2.5 to 7 volt or a low voltage converter and there is a 4.5 to 20 volt converter that looks the same. So here's the difference. The 4 point, or sorry, the 2.5 to 7, the low volt converter, that's if your Sabre is going to have a one cell, one battery, a lithium ion, 3.6 volts. Or maybe something like this, a Panasonic one. I really like these. It's got, both of these have the protection circuit in, single cell uh, Sabre. Um, this is going to work with that. That's the one I'm going to be building today. Now, if you've got a dual cell or a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery, or if you've got a four AAA pack that runs at six volts, you're going to need the higher voltage version of this, the 4.5 to 20 volt. So you got to know which uh, momentary latching converter is right for your Sabre battery configuration. Like I said, today we're going to use this battery and we're going to do a single cell lithium ion. Uh, we're going to use uh, a little momentary switch. It's the beauty of these. These are really nice. Uh, they're shorter than the, the latching ones. The latching ones are much longer and may not work for your saber. That's the need for the momentary latching converter. And uh, I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to wire that up and use it. And it is really simple. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is just take a quick capture of the, the, the picture on the custom saber shop that shows you this. Print it off on a piece of paper just so you can make some little notes about where you want to build things. It's a good practice to do whenever you're using any kind of electronics is just to make yourself some kind of a chart. Make yourself some kind of notes so you can uh, refer back to what you did, maybe what you did wrong, if you get into more complicated things. We won't be doing anything wrong today. Knock on wood. Now you're not going to need a couple of these things to get going. First of all, this is, uh, this is uh, these are great. Those will plug into the JST connectors on your battery or on your your setup, but you may not need to use this. So we're not going to use this today. We're not going to break this apart into little twos or attach it to the board. Um, we're going to put that aside. This is the little momentary, look how small that momentary switch is that comes with the board. We're going to use that for testing, but I'm not going to solder that onto the board. So we're going to move that out of the way. I got my LED. We're going to attach that first. Um, we want to attach the battery last. Now you're going to want to use a helping hands or some kind of vise or something. Um, to, to use this board, to solder this board, because it's really small. Um, and I've got my little chart to tell me the V in, voltage in, and voltage out, and uh, and that kind of stuff. It's also written on the back of the board here. Ground is, is your negative. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach my LED to the voltage out and the ground. So you can, if you're gonna hold yours in, in, a, in a helping hands, don't clamp on any of these really delicate little components. Um, you don't wanna do that. You wanna clamp on the side, corner there or uh, in the event of someone like mine you can actually clamp the board like that and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to set up a soldering iron here and I'm going to quickly solder these together. Now your wires are probably going to be a lot longer than mine are here. Um, I'm just using a little LED module with short wires just to show you for uh, illustration's sake and I'm not going to solder with my wire sticking out to the sides of the board. I'm actually going to cross over the board so that it's a nice small package when I'm done. So voltage out, I'm gonna get my wire lined up across the pad. You can go through the holes. I prefer to go across the holes. Makes things a little bit more durable and easier to take apart if you need. Check that that's a good, good solid joint there. There you go. I'm gonna wire up my other one to the ground just like that. Got my wires attached to the ground and to the voltage out, um, corresponding properly. So I'm going to set that aside. Next thing I'm going to do is, is uh, wire up my battery. Now, what I would have done is snip these off and attach them. But here's a, a little safety tip. You don't want to snip through both the positive and the negative. Sure, the battery has a protection circuit inside, and when it detects that short circuit, it will shut off power, it's not gonna damage anything, but you don't wanna risk anything. So whenever I'm snipping something like this, I'll snip one wire at a time, and then I've got these little squares of, of uh, electrical tape, 
and I'm just going to go around the wire. Now for today what I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to snip this because I'm using this battery in a different project. I've made a little connector here and what I'm going to do is before I proceed, I'm going to, I've, I've tinned these and stripped the wire about an eighth of an inch down or less. I'm just going to take my handy dandy electrical tape. I don't generally like to use electrical tape for anything that's going to be permanent in the Sabre, um, but it's pretty good for things that are going to be temporary. So before I attach this, I'm going to seal off both of those so that they won't short circuit when I plug this into this. So th when I'm done here, as you'll see, this will be exactly the same as if I had cut these wires. So for our intents and purposes here, I'm going to attach those to the Palulu momentary, uh, latching to momentary converter and, uh, and we'll proceed. I just wanted to show you that for a safety point of view and just a best practice when working with these batteries. Uh, take your time and make sure that they're not going to short circuit. So as you can see, I've attached my black wire to the ground. I always want to do that one first, best practice. And I've still got my red wire insulated here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the tape insulation and I'm going to attach the red wire to that positive. I want to be very careful where I clip the board so I don't short circuit anything. Anyways, I'm going to attach that wire here next and then we'll proceed. So I've got my LED wires attached to the voltage out and ground. I've got my battery wires attached to the voltage in and ground. And the grounds are all connected so you can really use any of them that you want. Um, and across, by crossing them across the board, when it comes time to set my board in place, I'm going to be able to tuck those wires out of the way and not have wires sticking out of the side. That's why I did that. Now it come time, we're ready to test this, so we're going to flip this over. And where you're going to attach your switch is these two holes right here and here. Those are the leads that are going to go to your switch. We're going to wire those to our switch. But to test it, here's what I'm going to do. This little guy that came with the, with the kit, I'm actually just going to snap him in these two little holes here, right in the middle of the board. And when he's in place, I'm just going to use him now to test. Because when I tap this momentary button, the switch should latch. And our LED comes on. Exactly like I want it. Tap it again, the LED goes off. Saber on, saber off. Saber on, saber off. That's the beauty of this little guy. So any momentary switch that's now attached to those wires is going to work. Now, I, I can disconnect my battery because I made a clip there. You may not be able to. So it might be wise to attach your switch wires to your switch first and then attach the battery. Um, it will work either way. Generally, you want to always attach your battery last. It's a good best practice. So I'm going to wire up uh, some wires from the switch legs of this momentary switch. As you can see, it's also got two other legs for the LED that's in here. I'll show you what to do with those a little later. But first, let's just wire the switch up to this, and then we'll have our completed circuit. Now, I like to use a little hobby vise like this to hold my switch in place, and of course, my helping hands with alligator clips. And you can see there's a green mark on the back. There's four legs on the on the switch. Now, if you want to quickly test to see if your LED is working, I've got a little battery pack. Let's see if I can show you two A double A's hooked up to these little alligator clips and a little resistor. I don't even need the resistor because this one takes 3.3 volts. And you could just touch the legs and see, oh, you can see a little LED come on there. So that means that those are my LED legs and these are my switch legs. And I want to point out, I've just soldered my wires, that uh, I'll put heat shrink, heat shrink around those to protect the ends from any accidental short circuits. But uh, before wiring these things together, at this point you would need to run wires through switch holes in the Sabre. Um, uh, we're just making the circuit work outside of the Sabre. So of course you can wire it up, test it, and then unsolder it again. And, put your parts in your saber and solder it up. Or you can build it with JST clips connectors much like these um, so that you can disconnect the different components and then reconnect them as you assemble your saber. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, but uh, we've got this switch wired. I've checked the connections. They're good. And so now I'm going to plug in the battery and we'll give it a test. Okay, I've plugged in my battery. I've checked that the red to red, positive to positive, negative to negative. I've got my switch here. I should compress the switch. And my LED comes on. Press the switch again, LED goes off. So that is how simple it is to wire this latching to momentary converter for use in your Sabre. Now I want to point out a, a quick couple of things before I do. I'm going to show you quickly how to wire the LED in this switch to this board. 
Um, but you want to be mindful of where to put the board in your saber because these are little metal bits. You don't want them touching the inside body of your saber and short circuiting. Now you could wrap it in electrical tape and it could just be floating around in there. I would not do that. I generally don't like to use electrical tape in that kind of application. What I would rather do is have this wired. Obviously my my LED wires are going to be a lot longer. My switch wires are going to be a different length. My battery wires are going to be a different length. But you can fold these wires, tuck them in, and you can now electrical tape that Hululu board to your battery. You want to make sure there's no sharp solder points sticking out that are going to puncture the, the insulation on your battery. But you can, depending on what kind of chassis discs you're using, or if you're using a, you know, a V6 holder like this with a, with a battery that snaps in, it's an excellent way to go. Um, your, your board can actually, you can hot glue it right, right in there where the soundboard would go in. And if you want to upgrade later, you pop that out and you put your soundboard in there. So there's lots of different ways to do it. But you want to make sure that these metal parts aren't going to be touching the inside body of your saber. So that's how quickly and easily you can wire up a Palulu board to turn a momentary switch into a latching switch. I will quickly wire a couple of uh, wires to these other two legs on the switch and then I'll show you where to connect them on the board to make the LED light up in your anti-vandal switch. Okay, now I've attached the black wire from my switch LED uh, to any of the ground points and I've attached the green wire with, as you can see, a little the little resistor, in this case I use the, uh, the 18 ohm 1 quarter watt resistor, and in this case I actually soldered it to the remaining voltage out pad, uh, right through actually, I don't go right through the voltage pad so that I can gently just kind of push it over, and that will tuck in under where, uh, where the board goes. So the wires are tucked in, you may notice that now with all those wires on there, it's starting to get really congested. So you can solder wires onto the other side if you so choose, just to keep it a little bit a little bit clearer, a little bit easier if you have a, a maybe you're newer at soldering and, and getting a wire to attach in between two other wires is really tricky, but well, you don't have to. You can attach it to one of the posts over there. Now I've done all this without my battery connected, which is always the best way to go. So I'm going to connect my battery, red to red, black to black, and you'll notice that there's no indicator LED on because there's no power going through the circuit and when I activate it well now there's power going through the circuit to my main LED and there's power going to my auxiliary or to my AV switch LED press it again circuit goes off so using the same voltage out pads going to the LED and ground um, this LED draws a lot less power 20 milliamps so you don't have to worry about it you know, being overpowered, and I've got that resistor on there to protect it. Of course, I could wire resistor, wire the resistor here if I wanted to, if I have room in my saber to wire it here. I generally don't like to heat shrink over the whole resistor. Um, you may notice that most of the resistor is exposed, just to heat shrink over the, the metal part there, because the resistor is designed to dissipate heat, and if there's heat shrink over top of it, it inhibits its ability to dissipate heat. So that's kind of the advanced version with a, a lit. AV switch, but there you go. That's how simple it is to use the uh, latching to momentary converter boards from the Custom Saber Shop. Thanks again for watching.